Hey guys, this is my life so far traveling across South America. I'm G, and this is life at Lake Atitlan, Guatemala. This week, we eat a lot of good food with a lot of good friends. We attend a full moon party across the lake, and a not ideal situation leads us to calling the cops. Come along with me. chilies, coconut oil, peanut butter, honey, salt, pepper, and Emily's inspiration. For sure. Rainy season is officially here and I feel it. I've been feeling so called to be alone, to recharge alone and to not talk or see anybody, but I've made an exception for these wonderful people. It's this delicate balance of staying in community while charging alone. It's just like little cartoons with like, like words on top and like, oh my Emoji? God. No. It's like these are really rare. Okay. Magical Colorful horse. Yeah. Unicorn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this animal um, flies. But it's also, <laughs> <laughs> it's also a squirrel. <laughs> Hi. Go ahead, it's a, video. it's a video. Across the lake, there was a full moon party happening all night long that we all went to. But I fully intended on sleeping. I only got about an hour of sleep, but that was enough for me. Check it, check it, check it out. <laughs>
The more you trust, the more you receive. Thank you, darling. Okay, so this is where things get spicy. The road home is not easy. We need to take a 30 minute bus to a dock to get on a 20 minute boat back into town. And I fell asleep on this bus, of course. And when I woke up, my friend Itamar comes up to me and says, Check your phone. The chiropractor guys left their bag. So my chiropractic friends. Setna and Nanda left an hour before all of us because they needed to be in town at a certain time. I'm confused and scrambling trying to call them. Turns out they forgot one of their bags at a store before getting on a private boat. So I had to leave the group and venture out on my own. I take three tuk-tuks all over town to find the right dock until I finally came to the store they left the bag at. The clerk at the store claims he knows nothing about the bag. And then Satna messages me to just check behind the counter. I slyly walk to the front of the store and find this. I'm shaking. And I come up to the tuk-tuk driver who is helping me deal with all this, and he translates for me that the clerk actually has the bag, but wants my friends to come and claim it. This is just another scam to try to get them to pay money to get it back. So Alex, my sweet tuk-tuk driver, and the clerk and his mom are bickering in front of me, when finally Alex just calls the police. I'm sitting there, confused as all heck, wondering why the police need to get involved. Only 15 minutes passes before the police come, and all of a sudden Buddy Clerk is all smiles and sweetness with his mom when I translate on Alex's phone to the police officer that I can describe every single item in that bag. I check behind the counter again for the bag. I don't see the bag, I'm freaking out in the inside, but it turns out that the clerk is bringing it to me. The police officer has me check that everything is still in the bag, and that was the most fucking stressful thing in my entire life, but I got the bag. Yeah. I am so thankful to Alex. Without his help and kindness, this would have been a completely different outcome. The kindness of strangers, man. Okay. Alex, <laughs> eres un angel. No. Y siempre es mucho buen karma. Todo es para ti. Muchas gracias. Oh, gracias. No, gracias a ti. Por todo, todo, todo. I know everything happens for a reason, but I'm still trying to figure out what this one was. Anyways. Aramit, it's like an ancient table. This is Itamar. I met him a couple days ago at a full moon party gathering. Mm -mm -mm. And he's teaching me how to play. What with this? Wow, very good, very nice. My goal is to have one of these and to literally paint it like a pizza so I can show up to parties and just toss a pizza. Whoa! You know where it is? Party. Sliding, not letting it spin all the way. I'm doing it! Did you see how I'm doing it? So, like, there's no. like. A millisecond hang with your with your hand when you do that. That's great. <laughs> and remember your left arm super tight. Your left arm like this. My left arm? Like this. You don't even know this. Now I would prefer like to work on the left hand as well. Even if it's working hard. Did it seem no. direction? No. Imagine going to a festival and seeing some girl in the middle of a dance floor tossing a pizza. How freaking hilarious is that? I saw Itamar at the middle of this dance floor at the full moon party and imagined myself doing this. And this is why I want to learn. Plus, I'll probably make a really good pizza someday doing this. Let's see.
my current life update. It is currently nearly the end of May and I'm trying to figure out whether or not I want to stay longer. Because the thing is, I have these things in order, but my intuition was like, don't buy the flight yet when I bought the flight last month. And now I have the opportunity to stay three more weeks. Essentially five minutes after I told my friend that I wanted to stay for a little while longer, she offers me an opportunity to stay at this hostel in exchange for photos. So I'm like, whoa, that's her. I'm feeling a call to stay, huh? But the thing is, I'm not gonna get my money back for that first flight that I paid for, so I'm trying to manifest and see where things can, you know, be in place in order for me to pay for my, my next flight. But I have faith. I really want to go home. Like, I really want to go home, but I feel a call that the link still has something to show me. We'll see. As much as I really want to go home to see my friends and my family, it's very clear to me that I need to go inwards and do some more work here. The lake has more to show me, and I need to stay. I guess there are still some stories left to be told, and I'm excited to tell you all of them. I'm Mama G. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Monday. Mm -hmm.